Hi, Georgia Bant here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. I made this card using the stamp set's Jar of Flowers and I used the Sunshine and Sunshine Sunflowers and the stems. And for the thank you, I used Free as a Bird and that little tiny thank you stamp. Card stock I've used. Card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at four and one eighth, folded in half. I have a spare bit of card. I have a Daffodil Delight at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. I have a piece of white at five and a half by three and three quarters. I have a piece of white at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths for the inside. And I have two pieces of DSP. Now this is, I'm afraid, last year's DSP. I think it's last year's. Could be the years before. I have the in colours and I think this was Grapefruit Grove? No. I can't remember what it was. I know it wasn't Daffodil Delight. This one's Daffodil Delight. The Gingham Gala Paper. I can't remember what colour this one was. It's just retired and all. Anyway. They measure two inches or one and seven eighths by five and three eighths yeah by five and three eighths so and I've cut them both the same they will overlap a little bit when I glue them down but that's all right then I have a white piece of card at two and seven eighths by Two and five eighths, two and five eighths by two and seven eighths. Is that two and seven eighths? Three and seven eighths. So I have a piece of black card at four inches by two and that's two and a half. So it's four inches by two and five eighths. And that will sit on top. Also have some scraps with a sentiment. And I've got some black here, which I will cut round when I've stamped it. So I haven't given you measurements for that because I don't know what size it will turn out. I just stamp it and cut it out. And that will sit on top like that. So let's get started with our stamping. This is stamping and obviously colouring in with our blender pens. Oh, I've got something to show you. Oh, right, I've done. You can't see it, but I have made myself a new. Can I go out a bit? new box as there's five more colour blends making it ten more pens so I have got two more colours to get um, magenta madness and cinnamon cider they're the two I've got left to get I bought Melon Mambo, um, God I can't remember what the new colours are, Melon Mambo, Just Jade and I can't remember the other one I bought, Melon Mambo, Just Jade and One, two, three, four. 
oh, misty moonlight. Yeah, misty moonlight. So obviously it meant I had to make my box bigger. But what I did was took the tubes out of the old box and just made 12 more tubes and added on the 12 tubes and then made a new box so I didn't have to make all them tubes again. So Stampin' Up! come out with any more. I am not going to make another box. What I will do is take out retired ones out of here and make a little box for them and just keep this as my main one because at the moment I've got all the colours I haven't taken none of the retired ones out I have added the ivory and the bronze I used to just keep them in a pencil case but I've actually added them in. I haven't added the colour lifter in because I never use it. So, so that is my box. So we want out of here. We want the yellows. Darks. All the darks. So I've got uh, dark daffodil delight. Dark so saffron and light mango melody. I also want granny apple green light. Yep. Um one of the purples. Highland ever and one of the pinks. Uh I think I did a melon mambo with a flower. I'm trying to find all the colours now. So right with our memento to exceed a black ink, we are going to stamp our flowers. So ink up the flower and I have to bring it down low so I can see it and stamp it to the top. Now then, I have got somewhere a little mask. I cheated here. I did stamp on that and then I just cut out the bit that I wanted. So, all I want is for the stems to be underneath the flowers. So rather than cut out all the flower, I just cut out the bit I need and then stuck it on right on this one you can see I went too far that way that flower should have been more to the left or your right depending on what way you're looking at it but it should have been over this way a bit more so I am going to stump over that way a bit more. I'm putting a bit of pressure down where it's on the mask. Lift it up. There we are. Oh, I've got a mark on it. Have to get a rubber on that. So yeah, so that is our bunch of flowers 
and now for the sentiment usually I use um, my other black ink but I never brought it down so I'll just use that one thank you scissors chop that off it's better Right, and this, we'll just stick on this bit of black card and we'll cut round it. And then that'll be our sentiment ready. I think the reason I don't measure the bit of card for the sentiment. When it's a tiny card like this, that's an inch and a half. The white is an inch and a half. Is because I'm not guaranteed I'll stamp on it correctly. And if I um, just do it like this, I can always cut it down. There we are. Our sentiment. Put that to one side and keep that bit black. Now this rubber out and I thought it was glue, but it's not. It's ink. Better. Right, should we colour our flowers in? Granny apple green. Let's start with this. Just as well, I'll clean my glasses. I wouldn't have been able to see all these stems. You don't realise how dirty your glasses are until you clean them. I just cleaned my glasses, put them back on, I went, ooh, sun's come out. <laughs> My grandson's very anal with his glasses. Cleans them every two minutes. Drives his mother up the wall. Right then, I've got the three yellows and each sunflower is going to be coloured in a different yellow. So I am going to do the front one, Melon Mambo.
don't know if you can hear the kids over the back out playing. <coughs> Sorry about that. Right, the next one is Daffodil Delight. The only thing wrong with images that are close together like this is working out what bits what. And then, so saffron on this one. And I never got a crumb coat for the middle bit. Um, and then we're just colouring the middle bits in crumb cake. Olive, we do this. I don't know what it is, whether it's leaves or not, but they're getting colour green. is the some leaves and that's it there all right mambo for this flower Just picked up any yellow, which is Mango Melody. All 
Right, Highland Heather. The flower that looks like bubbles, and the pink. And that is our flower coloured in. Didn't take long, did it? And I'll glue that on there. I'll go on there when we stick all these bits on. So let's stick these down. Right, I'll just put these down with a very thin border all round. Do the same with this one. Matching it up with that one. Like that. And then sticking this on our daffodil delight. Only did that just to make the DSP pop a bit. If there's a a colour similar to the paper, just to help it pop. Now because this is a smaller size, we've got a bigger white border. And I've done that on purpose. Let's pop this in. Right, now that will go on there like that and then this will sit just there like that but it goes up on dimensionals so
Right, let's try and get that on there evenly. Nice. I feel the one I did before is too low down. And that will go on there, but I need to stick a mini dimensional that side. And some glue there. that on like that. I didn't want to go over the yellow with the black, that's why I was taking my time doing it. Oh, I didn't realise she was so far out still. Sorry about that. I forgot to bring you in when I showed you my box. Right, and the last bit is I've got a bit of ribbon here and we're just going to do a fake bow so all I did was tie this bit of ribbon in a knot and always chop it off go there and all I did was stick a piece of glue on it and set it down and hold it for a little bit And that is that. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more on my cast, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.